work out just a little bit further. But first we're going to deal with them. So let's get these guys taken care of. Let's come down here and fight these guys and get rid of them. No problem, sir. This is Link. I'm under attack. Link here. Right Enemy vehicle right destroyed. They have a hard time because they're only long range missiles. Eat here. Another one bites the dust. So there's another one right down here. We're just going to go forward a little bit and get rid of it, too. This is a Saris in here. So we can get Link here. Here. I'm under attack. Link here. Attacking from here. No so we problem, don't want to go sir. down too far because there's some other maps that we don't really want to get into. So we're going to come back up here with him. Right up to there. We're going to bring her down to right to here. To see if we can't coax those others out. Mystique here. I think I have a contact. So now she can sense them. What we're going to do is we're going to bring our, our F1 team up to here. And then we're going to take Beast and just heckle him. Beast is my favorite guy for doing this kind of stuff. So he's going to run down here. And he's going to run right back. It should be enough to get them to jump across. These are jump mechs. We would love to have one of them. So they're going to stop there. They're, they're not sure what's going on. So we're going to take Beast again, and he's going to do some running for us. So we're going to sprint him over this way. Back over this way. And he's going to go, he's going to be our hound dog to expose those mechs as best we can. So what we want to do, we want him to get across this river, or this road, excuse me and up this hill as quick as he can. What this does for us is this takes him up here to the top of this hill where it exposes another set of mechs. And now suddenly we can see them. So what we're going to do with them, we're going to get rid of them. We could try and keep them it's another couple of commandos. I don't see any real reason. Um, maybe we probably would sell them. If we do this right, then we're going to probably get them both, or potentially, potentially one of them. But we'll try. We'll try our best. We don't want to damage that, so we're going to ride this back just well back from them, circle them, and see if we can at least say, get one out of the two. But we both we want both of them taken out at this point. So he's still around. That one's toast. Might be, maybe not. So what we can do at this point, we will take our F1 team and sprint them all right down here. And we're gonna bite him real quick. He's heavily damaged, so we're just gonna. All we're gonna jump down here. We're gonna come down here. Right Heads up! I've got a new contact. To just kind of target him and take him down. Consider it done. We use uh, no heavy weapons. No problem, sir. Yes, sir. Pushing A will tell you yes, just sir. Use lasers. I'm getting shot at. Consider it done. No problem, sir. The least Consider it done. There we go. Fair price for everyone. Here comes trouble. Stopping here. Let's see if he's saveable. I don't know. He might be. Let's see if we got any salvage from him. We got one of them. We probably got him. So that's what I was hoping to get at least one of them. So at this point, what we want to do, we're going to bring them back up. Bring that one back up here to where she's at. What I want to do is I want to try and coax 
coax them out as best we can to get them to the point where they're right up in here. And it might be able to do it. So I'm going to take Beast. And I'm actually going to take and sprint him down here to here and back. Mystique here. I've got a new contact. That may get them in moving enough. It didn't, but it actually put them in range of this. So now they're facing on. We can get them from here. I'm just going to do this. We may get a mech out of this, we may not. Hopefully we can get at least one jump commando. They're incredibly useful in a lot of different situations. And honestly, if you can't win one, I win. Link here. I have a new sensor trait. Uh-oh. New contact. So let's go see what we got. My sensors have a new contact. Beast here. Heads up. I've got a new contact. Let's see what they look like. May or may not have gotten either one of those. I think we fried them pretty good. So let's check our salvage real quick. We got one of them. And he's got some SRM still. That is a prize all by itself right there. Because we can that that gem. That gem commando is going to do us so much good in, in the next few rounds. You have no idea yet. So anyway, let's continue on. So from here, we can head on down. Oh, by the way, they came off this island here. That we have no access to it simply because we have no men that can jump. So that's the one thing that we really, really could have used right here. It's a jump pack, but we don't have one, so there's nothing we can do. Now, honestly, I don't think there's actually anything on the island besides a pan. So she's going to come down here. Mystique should find some more. I think I have a contact. So what she's going to do, she's going to come down on them just a little bit to the point where her unit, her green dot up there, is going to overlap the red red ring of their scanning. And if everything works out, it's going to I be thought a new contact to a yellow ring that's half the size of what it normally is. And that's your um, ECM electronic countermeasures. So a little bit further, she should be able to... Just a little further. There we go. So now our people can move up to get to them. So they are right down here. There's no way we're going to get close enough to them to blow them up the same way we did with the other. But that's okay. What we can do is we can run beast over this way. So let's bring the F1 unit down to here, then we'll run beast around. I use Beast simply because he's the smallest, lightest, and fastest unit we have. So he's going to come up here, and he's going to follow the edge of the of the of the beach and get around it. If you notice, we're going to zoom in just a little bit, see how far he can go, and work up on him without actually moving him. If they move, then we run back and we fight them normally, but if we can get close enough to them... Oh, no. Okay, so we're going to sprint him back to here. Move her back to here. And then take the whole unit, F1 unit, to fight them. So let's go with that scenario. We're going to zoom back out. If you look, I think we're zoomed in. Let's zoom back out of there. Okay, so let's go. Let's get this going. So he's going to sprint back. They're going to come down, and now we're going to fight these guys. No problem, sir. We're going to get right up on. Consider it done. Yes, sir. Wait here. I'm under attack. No problem, sir. Yes, sir. I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. 
Yeah, no problem, sir. Sir? Yes, sir. No problem, sir. No problem, sir. Consider it done. Yes, sir. No problem, sir. Hunter here. I don't think these guys like me. Yes, sir. Consider it done. Here comes the trouble. Yes, sir. No problem, sir. Link's here. That takes care of him. No There's problem, no sir. Down. Enemy mech destroyed. I you am the hunter. Gotten anything out of either one of them. Stopping here. We'll take a look real quick. Oh, uh, possibly. Probably not, though. Same way with this one. So there's an SRM pack, but probably not. They're probably beat up so much, we don't want them anyway. So let's look. Nope, we didn't get either one of those fire starters. It's too bad because they're 30, they're 30 ton units. It would be helpful to have them, but we don't need them. Um, honestly, I get a load of mechs standing at the end that I never ended up using. I just end up selling them. So, But this frees up these guys, and now if you look over here, we have access to the resources. So we're going to have to have Consider it done. Enemy components captured. 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 Reporting building captured. No problem, sir. Enemy components captured. More there. Enemy components captured. Reporting building captured. I think this is the most wonderful thing about this whole thing. It's so much supply. So I do want to check. Don't know. We have not gotten those. So let's run up here real quick. I can't believe I completely forgot about that. And go get those resources. No problem, sir. Stopping here. Okay, get over through there. So there's those two commandos that we took out. Enemy no problem, components sir. captured. Building captured. One down there. Consider it done. All right. Enemy components this is captured. The Building captured. So with this, we need to get back around this chunk of island here. So let's get get them circled back around, going the way we need them to go. Beast is the fastest. Those, the little commando W's are just crazy fast. Alright, so now we got everybody together. So we're gonna come up this way. And I hit the E key so that they all will independently walk together because it's just speedier that way. Every time that I try and run these guys uh, with the F1s, F2 keys for their, for their individual units, uh, there's a lot of. Oh, we want to back off that thing. We don't want that to get us. Um, the, the, you just end up with a lot of confusion, and sometimes they don't always run where you want them to go. So Beast is going to do a little sprint past this cannon up here to take out. There's, he's going to capture a turret that's right up here because it's the best way to do this. And he's just going to run up there really quick. He's going to get shot at once. Hopefully. Got it, sir. And as a beast here, building captured. May have gotten hit, maybe not. So, what we're going to do is we're going to bring everybody up to here. And there's all this wonderful resource right there. Get all of our people up here. See, now these are ours because we've captured the turret. If there were an enemy coming up behind us, they would have to fight those turrets. And the nice thing is, is, is that it comes a distraction from the enemy max. Enemy components enemy max will try and take out the captured. turrets before they chase after us. Or they'll try and take out the turret control. And then you can sit back and pot shot them and get you know, take them out as you go. Next up is the big baddie. So we're going to come up here, expose the location where he's at, so we can see him. Well, we can't really see him because he's in the shade, or in the shadow of Mystique the... Mystique here, I think I have a contact. His sensor bearing, so he's right there. So we're going to do 
something special here. We're going to move her down to there so we can kind of get a little bit of a sense, a little bit of a warning before we do what we're about ready to do. So we're going to bring the beast down. He's our game bit. I've got a new contact. So what we're going to have her do is she's going to walk down to here very slowly and impact his sensor. So hopefully she can go a little bit further and minimize his sensor abilities. Hopefully he doesn't move. If he does move, then we gotta, we've got to scramble fast. Okay, so what we want to do, this is a bridge going across to where he's at. These wonderful little guys here are going to be our buddies because they're going to they're going to prevent him from getting anywhere. And hopefully, if things go right, we're going to end up with a very large mech. So poor Mr. Guinea Pig, beast, he's got to sprint down here and excite that guy to come barreling out, and we're going to hit him with with an explosive from the small. So what we're going to do? We'll just lock that. Yep, be selected, nobody else. So he is actually going to come down clear to here. So that he, he hits the ring. Hopefully he does not get shot up. That does happen on occasion. And then when he gets to here, I'm going to set off that small artillery piece right there. So here we go. Let's move this over just a little bit so we have a better view. And here comes the race. One. Boom. And we have a mad cat taken out. Let's look at the mad cat and see what we got. Some damage, pretty much everything is blown off of him. But, let's see if we get him in salvage. We did not. Which is too bad. But it doesn't happen very often. I've only gotten him a few times. But we did take him out and we get, we get points for that. We get lots of points for that. So that's good. So at this point, it's sad that we did not get the Mad Cat. The Mad Cat is probably one of the most useful mechs in the whole system in the whole game if you have him he can just run amok all over the place and just does wonders so but we don't have him so we can work around that. Don't have to worry about that so let's get everybody over here and we've already taken out the saracen that was over here it's trash and so we're going to come down and actually you know what we're just going to run everybody to here to here and we're gonna get these resources because everything's taken care of. Everybody up. Yep, sir. Enemy components Building captured. That one there. I'll take care of it. Enemy components it's captured. Building Everybody. extraction point and we are done successful mission we already regained a lot of salvage out of there even though we didn't get all the mechs we got a couple of really good mechs we got a jump mech which is probably one of mission the mission objective we complete mission successful with minimal damage to our, our units that's what I like commendation for low them. drop weight because then you're paying all your money out to get them fixed again if you look they have very little damage and they've all learned something through this approach. So we linked up with the raisin, we got 9,000 for that. Escorting was another 12,000. We gained another 3,000 for being 15 tons under maximum weight. Looking at what we got for salvage, we got laser mounts, uh, we got an intermediate sensor, Commando W, Commando J, which is awesome. Another LRM rack, pulse lasers, clan long range missiles, which are nice because they're lighter and they shoot further. Three heavy flippers, which will probably just sell because they're really worth money. Pulse lasers, uh, SD, SRMs, clan pulse laser, which is wonderful. 
SRMs, and other PPC a large clam or a large pole sledger. Excellent, excellent salvage. So from there, I'm gonna let you go and we'll start up with the next mission here very shortly. Uh, thanks again for um, following along. Um, if you like what you see, uh, hit the like button. Um, if you want to follow and continue to see what I'm doing, I'll, I'll, I'll start putting out messages and updates when, when I'm releasing new, 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 new missions as I go. Uh, right now, my plan is probably to do one a day uh, for a little bit as I have time. Um, if you want to subscribe, I would love it. There's no cost, no charge to you to do it. Uh, it makes my points look better. I'm just starting this, this series. It's my very first time doing this, so I'm excited. I'm, I'm hoping to have lots of fun with this. Have a good evening and enjoy your time. Thanks a lot.